Hi and welcome to another how-to video. Today is particularly aimed at people who already have an interest in drawing or painting and can't decide whether they want to do cityscape or landscape. So I'm going to show you just a few of the differences that I find between the two. So on this side I'm going to do a New York scene, very simple one. I'm using compressed charcoal which is a little bit more body than a willow charcoal so I can get real definite lines with it. So from the beginning we see shapes. Cityscapes I find there's a lot of shapes, a lot of lines. I love all the ups and downs in it. You can also be quite 3D, which is great. And you can start to bring in tiny little shapes all over it. And you really are using the very bottom of it. You're not using the side, you're using the very bottom of your tool that you have and save that. And then you can do some larger ones and little lines here. So you can fill a page really quickly with buildings, especially on this scale. You can have roads coming in. So they often are where you can get a little more movement, a little more freedom. So say you have a little collection of buildings up here. Some windows. And then the lines in your road. But other than that, and other than the sky, you have quite a lot of structure and you're using the top. So then if we move on to the landscape, a landscape often you're using the side of your pencil. Because say we're going to do a mountain scene here. So we're going to do some mountains. Then another one coming down to the sea. So this already has much more freedom and movement and a bit more relaxed. So you can bring in little posts. So say posts in the water. Or if you're doing like a cottage in the hills, that's where you start to bring structure in to landscapes. But other than that, there's a lot of flow, which is the lovely part of them. And you can have your sky, some clouds and some little rocks here. And you can even use the very side of your pencil. So there you go, there's the difference in a landscape and a cityscape. When you see them together, basically you're going on structure on one and movement on the other. Let me know what you decide, thanks. 